Yeah. It's kind of sad that I didn't get this right. Also, fun fact about me, I actually have played baseball before back when I was in middle school. And it wasn't because I wanted to, it's just that my parents, especially my mom, like kind of pressured me to take up something involving sports because and it made it look, felt like it was like a normal thing or something that I have to do. Like a normal thing that I have to do because this guy, he's not really my friend, but I have seen him a lot. He's like, well, he's, he's the son of my mom's best friend. So I saw him do basketball once and my mom like gave this impression to me where I have to play sport and it's like a normal thing if I don't do something like that it's abnormal or something that n nobody does and so she kind of pressured me in taking the sport baseball I chose that because I thought it was like the sport that you know I felt like it's the easiest to do I didn't do that by the way I just did it automatically that was pretty sweet um so she pressured me to do it, and I did, and at first it was whatever, but then there was one part where I was doing a practice throw with the coach. I, I wasn't doing like a practice lead, like a easy thing, I was doing it like a normal, and the guy accidentally threw the ball and it hit my face. It wasn't that, it wasn't like, it was a, not a huge throw, it was like an underthrow kind of thing, like from the underhand. Or, no, it was an overthrow, actually. Yeah, it was an overthrow, because how else would it hit me? It was an overthrow, but he wasn't that far away, so he didn't throw it that hard, but it hit my face, and it didn't really injure me, but the shocking feeling of getting your face hit by a ball kind of startled me. Was that where I came from? Yeah, that's where I came from. Kind of startled me to the point where I started crying, because I'm like that. Like, I'm very sensitive to anything that startles me that I start crying. I still am to this day, so I think if something similar that to, of that were to happen to me, even at this age, I'd probably cry. I don't know. That's how I am, unfortunately. So, I started crying, and he saw that, and so then he recommended to my mom, like, he should probably just do it like a little easily kind of thing. Which, what, that's, what, that's what they did. They sent me to some place that was like easier to do, like an easy lead, and I did it. And it was, it was fine at first. I actually did got, I think, two home runs, actually. Not from the hitting the ball, but from, like, running the bases. So what, what, what happens in this is that the coach, uh, of, like, throws the ball, like, does an underhand throw. Or maybe, no, it was, no, it was not underhand, overhand. Overhand throw, and she, it was very close, very easy, and then I, get, I hit the ball and I did it. And I managed to get a home run by like, I stop at one base, I stop at the next base. Oh, another thing of this. I stop at the next base, and I just ran through the whole thing. Nobody touched me with a ball, and um, I got a home run. And then I did it the second time, and I got a second home run. And that was nice. Hold on, let me, let me do this. Second time's the charm, right? Oh, okay, it's a lot harder, fuck me. Fuck! Didn't get it very well. It's better than nothing, right? Oh, okay! Did it! Alright, okay, so that wasn't so bad. If I would have done it for the first time. I did it actually the first time when I first played this game and the second time, but. Either because because of the Wii Remote's not that great, maybe not sensing very good. Or that I suck. I don't know. Maybe I suck, actually. I'm going with that. That's okay. I don't mind it. Because, yeah, that would have saved some... a few minutes. How long has it been? Oh, yeah, it's still good, though. Um, yeah, so... I got two home runs, and I was so good that the coach got one baseball and had all the team players sign it, and she gave it to me as a trophy. So that was pretty nice. So I've been playing baseball for about one year when I was in sixth grade, so I was like 11 years old at the time. And for one whole year, even the time when I was like sick with a cold, I fucking went. Because my mom forced me. But even then, nothing really bad has happened. It was a pretty, pretty alright time. Oh. Oh. 
You know what? Let's see if this fucker is a bitch. There we go. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Wow, you could have done that a little bit earlier. It would have made things a lot easier. Alright. I'm gonna have to look around. I know I'm low in health, but... Oh, whatever, I can take, I can take down these guys. Come on, give me a... Give me an upgrade. Uh, not an upgrade, like a fighting mode. Yeah, I'm always doing that spark thingy. I don't know, I just like it. It just feels so good. Oh, fuck! Okay, that's, that should do it. Oh, fuck, hold on, hold on, my weird remote. There we go. There we go! Okay. Fuck! Come on, get back here! Shit! Hold on, I need help. Yes. And let me just get this. Because why not? Yes. Anyway, so yeah, so I play baseball no matter what all throughout the year. So not only did I have fucking schoolwork and homework, but I had to fucking do baseball, even though I didn't want to. Because my fucking mom forced me to, made it look like that I have to do this shit, when I didn't- Oh, fuck, 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 kill him, kill him. Yes! So, yeah, that's how it went. I mean, honestly... Fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, kill him, kill him, I need to kill him. There we go. Shit. Just let me get the box first. Yes. Oh, okay, now this is open. Is there uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, these bathrooms. <laughs> One of them could have, could have been like a safe spot. Whatever. Okay, made it. Yeah. Jeez, that was hard. Travis, hello? The moment you step onto the field, the fight begins. If you win, you will be ranked ninth. If you lose, well, there's no need to go to that. You need to pop a breast milk. Alright, so yeah, so that's a little backstory of mine. I have played baseball for about a year, back in middle school in sixth grade. Honestly, it was kind of a waste of time, but... You know, my mom forced me to do it, and I did it, and, you know, didn't really amount to much. It wasn't really that bad and stuff. It just, like, I just wish that I would have never done it, because, honestly, it was just a huge waste of time. I never got anything out of it. The only thing that I did get out of baseball, actually, was that it was what influenced me. Well, not what influenced me, what, what inspired me to name what my first email account would be. I still use it to this to this day. It's something that has to, that has to relate to baseball. And yeah, I, I just named it that first email account because at the time I was in middle school, but I was getting a little bit like a, a, into a an adolescent or teen. And you know, when you're at that age, you have to have an email account. So my parents urged me to make an account, so I did made it, named it something related to baseball, and that's what came out of it. 
Travis, you've made pro- some progress. I caught the podcast that said you're getting your edge back. Do you remember your second suplex? A terrifying trip to the moon, the reverse arm salt, arm salt, MS. You remember the old professional wrestling movie? Yeah, so that was the legacy of my time doing baseball. That's what it amounted to, just basically knowing what my email, my, what my first email account should be. And I named it that has to something related to baseball, and that's what came of it. I still use that email account to this day, by the way. Of course, it's not my... I have two email accounts. One is my very first email account, my, my first email account. The other is my professional email account that has my like actual name and stuff on it that I use for school or for other important stuff. My first email account is basically used for gaming or some other kind of stuff, like for a gaming account or something like that. I use that for like games and everything. But for prof- or, but professionally, uh, I use my, you know, email account that has my actual name and, and stuff and all that. But that's basically what, what I'm trying to say is that's kind of what came out of baseball. Basically just naming an email account. That's it. I didn't get anything out of it. Honestly, it was okay, but it was kind of a waste of time. I would have never done it, you know, had I been more independent, but my mom forced me to, so. I had no choice, but it is what it is, that's what happened. Look at this. Mighty kind. Mighty kind of you. Nice set of pipes you got there, old man. It has always been my dream to perform in a stadium such as this. A gentleman from the association told me I could have any stage I wanted today. How could I refuse such a kind offer? <laughs> Courtesy of me and my entry fee, no doubt. <laughs> my ex-wife called me the other day and I met my daughter for the first time in ten years. We dined at a fancy restaurant, one of those that are impossible to get a reservation for. And then afterwards, karaoke. Who got you the reservation? The association took care of it, of course. Fuck. My entry fee. (laughs) What's important is not the fact the reservations are hard to get. In fact, no one gets reservations. The words reservations only apply only to those outside of the circle. It's getting into that circle that matters. And the food, good? Unfortunately, the atmosphere was a facade. Not once did my own daughter look me in the eye. Oh, the food tasted like blood. You're a junkie for blood, old man. Sadly, I can't disagree. There's only one way to live. People like us, we're sharks attracted to blood. You smelled blood too, didn't you? Isn't that why you're here? You got it, old man. And for some reason, I feel this sense of euphoria. Don't die on me too quickly. I want to gorge myself on this sense of fulfillment till I vomit. Man, this is what I live for. Fighting your own kind. Nothing's more gratifying. See you on the other side. Oh shit, look at this. These are explosive bullets. Jesus. Wow, anyway, the fight begins. You can shoot. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Yes! Yeah. 
So yeah, he's so much easier compared to the first boss. Because he does these shooting, shooty guns and stuff, not like a sword. Pretty good shooter, actually. Although there's this one part in the game where you kind of have to press the right button or else you kind of have to start all over. gonna show up soon. I just heard saw her uh her Oh so, sorry. I just have to get the fucking battery shit. Yeah. Hold on. I'm just gonna pause it for a sec. Oh never mind, it was just my dad. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot my dad would text me, but it's like I asked my uncle to text me, so more than likely it would be him that would text me back. But, oh shit shit shit, where is he coming from? Fuck. Hold on. You know what's funny? I could've just charged up by shaking my Wii remote, but I just figure like when I just get the battery back. Cause you know, it's like there, I don't have to shake, but... There, yo! Oh, look, the fight's almost over. See, he's so easy. Why didn't they make him the first boss? Why did they have to make fucking Death Metal the the first boss? But I guess that's like the charm of this game. It's like immediately it's like hard and stuff while in the next fight it's like pretty smooth. Comes. Boom. Why are you laughing? You just missed. And also strange about this boss battle is that there are actually two fights that take place in the same area. Although not here, but underground. It's like a secret base. Thing. But what I'm trying to say is that two of the assassins like live in the same area. Fuck. Why is that work a lot? He's almost dead, so I don't have to charge. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here it comes. Huh. Then what happened? Oh, okay, there we go. Don't kid yourself. Wait, hold on. Playtime is over. Oh, fuck. oh shit, I need to heal up. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Yes! Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm probably gonna die on him because of this. Fuck. I didn't know he would still attack. <laughs> yes! Damn. Okay, maybe that's why he's higher than death metal, because it's shit like this. I did almost die on him, so is that it? I guess. 
He's only easy, I guess, if you get the right button press. Next song I sing, I know my daughter will love. Won't you, darling? <laughs> oh, jeez. Better practice my rap. <laughs> rap with me, Jennifer. <sighs> it's open mic night in hell, old man. Sing all you want down there. Nice. Also, not how I remember. Didn't Travis like ask him like the name of the girl or something? Then he says it, or I don't know. Maybe it's exactly if there's no difference, or because I put on mild, it's like this one. I guess I don't know. Maybe it is. I haven't like looked it up, obviously. So I'm going to after I'm done playing because I feel I feel like it was a lot different compared to. I remember. Where's Sylvia anyway? Oh, she's right there. But I already got the health upgrades, so now I have to go. Congratulations. You are now ranked number nine. What'd you expect? Wait a minute. Are you getting a little sentimental? Still green, aren't you? You know this is only the beginning. Call me when the next one's arranged. Game set! So yeah. That was a pretty nice boss fight, even though I messed up on the button pressing, but it's okay. I got it. At least I didn't die. It'd be so sweet if I complete this game without dying, but I doubt that's gonna happen. I don't know. I'd be shocked if it does happen, but who knows. So yeah. Anyway, hold on. Look at this. Let's see that, and that's it. And it just like goes down, but you're, you know. All right, how long has it been? An hour and twenty-three. So I get to play a little bit, like get some money and stuff. Maybe upgrade my beam katana, and then I'll like call it a day. Yes. Wow, that was brutal. I would have saved some time, actually, like minutes and stuff, had I done that baseball hitting thing, like, better, but oh well. It doesn't have to be an hour and 30, you know, it could be over, just as long as it's not, you know, close to when my uncle shows up, but we'll see. Just calling to remind you that you haven't returned one of our rentals. Let's see here, it's... Um, titled Big German Jugs Collection Number 23. Be sure to return it soon. Have a nice day. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the ninth UAA rank is now complete. Thank you very much for your cooperation. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. As a friendly reminder, there will be a small, nominal fee to participate in ranked fights. Thank you for your understanding, and have a nice day. Alright. The UA wishes to inform you that your entry for the next rank fight as follows is $200,000. 200,000 LBs, basically. Please. Excuse me, please deposit the above amounts as soon as possible. Yeah. Will do. Damn, that was brutal. But I made it. So yeah, that's my little story about how I play baseball and stuff and everything. All it did was just gave me inspiration to, or the, the, just gave me the name idea for my email. I said inspiration, I just meant name idea. It wasn't, it wasn't like that, like, Oh, like, you know, d like a great discovery. It was just, okay, baseball, you know, there you go. Something related to baseball. Naomi's lab is now open. Okay, yeah, no Naomi's lab, there you go. Thunder Rio building is now open. Area 51 is now open. Now I get new clothes. A new part-time job is available. Okay. So, yeah. Also, for the record, 
I know I said about my first email account what it, what it might relate to. Honestly, I don't mind like sharing that because it's just an email email account. Like, so what? It could get tossed around and everything. It's just you don't leak the password that's most important. So I really don't mind. I didn't really give out my email, but I said it's just something related to baseball. So I guess some of you guys would try to figure it out. But I mean, honestly, if you do, who cares? Because it's my fucking email. Because people, like, list what their email account is, but if there's, like, some guy, like, harassing, they would just block them. And I, I don't mind sharing that, just, like, you know, as long as it's not my password, which is not. Just wondering, do I enter from over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, here, 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 right here. Okay, let's get some upgrades first. Because I need it. I have plenty of money, so that should do it. And you do need to buy all the bean katanas if you want to face the final boss. Funny thing is, when I first played this game, I didn't know you had to. So... I didn't... <laughs> I had to restart playing the entire game in order to get to where I wanted to do the final battle, which is pretty sad. Because, you know... Oh, it's you again. Something to drink? Alright. Weapons. What is this? Weapon 002. A beam katana, Tsubaki, beam katana created by Naomi, the prototype model. You know, when I first heard that, it gave me the impression that, oh, what if that's like, not, you know, a good kind? What if it's like a cheap one? Because it said, they said it's called a prototype, right? So that gave me the impression like, you know, Oh, that's not the strong weapon that I do that I need. I obviously I got the strongest weapon of the game, which was the the uh, final katana and stuff. But I kept the same. What was it called? The blue raspberry katana or blueberry katana? I kept the same one all throughout, and I only changed it once the final katana was available. I didn't switch to this one, which is obviously a lot stronger. But you know. But yeah. So that's why I didn't get the chance to do the final battle, because I didn't get this one, and I didn't get the one before that. Which one after that was not that great, it's a very slow weapon. Very powerful, but very slow, I'm never gonna use it. I'm gonna use this one though. So... Oh, uh, that. So yeah. I want that, here. And I have 56,000 left, so... I already got it. Sold. Parts, accelerator, beam katana accelerator, a uh, sensor that can locate buried treasure. I don't need it. D treasure when attached to the handle of the beam katana. This text is really slow. But no, I don't want that. I want the one that actually powers it up, so I'm not gonna buy it. So I get to save some money. I already bought that, so. So yeah, we're good. You will talk to me. I don't know if I have it equipped with me, so I'm gonna go back to my place and equip it. Yeah, I think I already have it, but I'll just make sure. Anyway, so... I think I also have to go to Thunder Ryu's place and then I can upgrade my health as well, so I'm gonna probably do that. Anyway, so yeah, so... That's what happened in regards to baseball and stuff. Like I said, you know, good for an email name and stuff, so there's that. Also, another thing I'd like to point out that, you know how I, I said how my mom forced me to and I sounded kind of agitated? Honestly, it's no big deal, really. Like, it, what, ha what happened has happened. Not, even though I wish my mom didn't, like, force me to, to join the sports team. Like, didn't pressure me to join a sports... To, to join something involving sports, like... It wasn't that bad, you know, what happened has happened, even though it didn't amount to anything doing this thing, I don't blame my mom for it, honestly, like, like I said, it wasn't a big deal, and like, you know, what I'm trying to say is I still, I still like, you know, very, I still appreciate what she's done in my life and everything, and I still love her as my own mother and stuff, so, you know, you know, so I'm just, just want to point that out there for you guys that are wondering, oh, why do you sound like, you know, agitated, you know, with your own mom or something? No, it's no big deal. I, I, I'm just, I'm just bitching and, like, ranting and stuff, like, just one of my own, like, little frustrations I had in life that obviously was minor, but I just wanted to vent it out, so that's what happened.
Or, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to say, so yeah. Drawer. Alright. Hold on. Change, yes. I know that's the Bloodberry, I'm just making sure that I have the... So this is the Bloodberry, that's not the Raspberry, the Bloodberry. Yeah. Switch to the Tsubaki, the stronger one. Yes. There we go. Now I have that one equipped. I had it equipped before, but I, I wanted to just make sure. Alright, so that's it. Let's check on the cat. Look at this. Hey, girl. Oh, it's so cute. I love how Travis as a kitty. I wish he had a dog, though, because dogs are more affectionate. <laughs> I love Jean. She's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, on to the next task. Let's see. Now it's an hour and 30, so I'm gonna just check how much time I still have. My uncle didn't text me yet, so if that if that's the case, then I can base it 610. Hmm. Maybe I could stop at 630? I don't know. But you know what? Let's try that new side job. Let's see what new side job this guy has. And just try it out. And then I can maybe go to Thunder Ryu. If it doesn't take that much time. If it does, then I'm, I'm probably going to stop. But let's just check out the new side job. I did text my uncle that if he was going to come home, he should text me. Hopefully he does, because if he does show up and my mic microphone is still out, then that's a big problem. But I already mentioned about how, uh, you know, uh, me being caught and everything. I hope it doesn't happen, but if it does, I'll just tell him, like, I'll tell him a half-truth and stuff, and then just leave it at that. So, yeah. So, let's check out this new job. Hopefully it'll be better than the coconut one. There are, there are obviously jobs better than the coconut one, but, you know. Why do you come here? Third class man. I have not passed his secret to first class yet. It's not too bad. First rated god will give a hard work man a little smile. Today's job has been with some of the work. I don't I don't need to read it that much, but Oh okay. Lawn mowing. Looking for lawn mowers, cut as much grass as you can inside the required area within the time limit. Okay, I'll try it. Just see how much it takes. But you won't never prank I will never. Yeah, so I'm not gonna talk much because like I said I'm almost done with this with this game. I talk plenty, so I'm pretty much good, but you know. So, okay, it's right there, so, there it is, we just parked the bike in the middle of the road, <laughs> oh, okay, there are dreams in the unspoken rules of Santa's Destroy, a very verdant lawn awaits you in the near future, a maze like, look at this guy walking, <laughs> a maze like manor housed within a huge pool and a brilliant green lawn. Just as the god of handwork waits at the end of a long, long day's work, the god of lawns shall smile upon all who mow them. Cut, 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 and mow. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully it'll give me some real money. Maybe not. If it doesn't, then this will be the last time I do it. Lawn mowing start. Cut the wild well, over. Well, press the A button to mow forward and the B button to reverse. Twist the remote to move left or right. Press the Z button to turn. Three, oh, I see. Two, one. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's all you do. We're just gonna start with getting all the big grasses and then we'll like work our way doing the little ones, you know, the empty plots. I just love how the do you have to do this kind of stuff in order to progress options. Okay, I didn't know you could not go through the trees. At some point it's gonna get to a point where I'm gonna have to, you know. There's one involving scorpions, I'm probably not going to do that because it's like, if you get stung you have to go back to the guy and stuff, so I'm probably going to skip the scorpion. Nine. Nine. Oh shit, I'm almost to 100. Six. Oh, 100 is the max of this place, so yeah, I did decent. Let's see how much that, that gives me. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. And I got a gold and it made that sound that I skipped, unfortunately. But it made it in this one, so that's good. Hey, Third Ray, I got another job for you. Something a little shadier, perhaps, but work all the same. I sent an introduction to... Oh, okay. The road... okay. So if you like do this kind of stuff, you get new assassin missions. Alright, maybe so I ha probably would have to do something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. It's available now. Brand new fight mission I have selected. Oh, okay, I see. So, how much time do I still have? I guess I could do it. Why not? I know I'm not really talking much, so you'd expect me to, to, to talk and all that stuff, but... You know, I just wanted to just... Because I'm gonna finish up this gameplay soon. He's a to for next break. Let's see. Oh, wow, there's... Is there plenty? Oh, I guess there is. What is this? Kill until you die. Mission end when your life runs out. That's gonna take a while. Kill using wrestling moves only. No other moves are allowed in this mission. Nope. Go on a batting killing spree. Destroy stadium. Oh, this is the one with the bat. Batting. You know what? Now let's do this one because I want to practice the uh, use the new beam katana. See how it feels. So let's just do that. May you find your so yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go with you guys. You know how I talked about how I found out about this game. Normally, I would leave links to videos and stuff. I guess I'd leave a few of how I discovered this game. I won't. So I won't say where, which point, like, because I mean, I, I mean, I could, but. I don't know, but like, you know... Uh, yeah, I'd still leave a link to these videos, but now bear in mind, I don't know if they might be still available, because like, usually what happens, because these videos are so old, sometimes they either would just get copyright struck or just vanish. One video, I'm not, obviously, there's n nothing No More Heroes related about it, but there's one video, like the top 15, 10 saddest video game moments. The audio for that one, the first part, is like just entirely absent for some reason. But of course, there is another link to a different site or an archive where... Oh no, a re-upload of that video. With the audio included. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, the audio of that video just, just like, was removed for some reason. So, uh, it was re-uploaded. So yeah, I'm just saying that the videos 
from Al from Alex Rocha and Just Scorcher, they could not be the same as they used to be. But I'd probably still leave them in the link for you guys to know how I discovered this game in the first place. Yeah, mission start. Because that's kind of how I discovered No More Heroes. I just saw Alex Rocha and Just Scorcher do a video game camp like uh, video game top 10, top 15 list. I discovered this game, I asked my parents to get it to me on Amazon, and they just did. And that's how I discovered this. See, this katana is so much better. Ah, oh, fuck! Let me kill him. Shit. I love how he just swings the katana. Jeez. Okay, you know what? I have to find the target now. Hold on. The main guy. Please. Come on! No! Oh. Did I kill him? Oh, I killed him. Oh, I thought this game froze on me. Fuck. Bronze. Yeah. I could make it gold, but I would have to kill the, the main target directly instead of killing all his sidemen. But I kind of do it anyway because you get money from killing extra guys. So, yeah, I kind of do it like that. Anyway, how long has it been? 621. You know what? I'm just gonna... Hold on. No, you know what? I kind of trust my uncle that he would text me when he shows up, so uh, I'll keep on playing. Uh, obviously, I'll stop once it gets close to two hours. It's an hour 43. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'll be right back. Hold on, it's gonna be very quick. All right, I'm back. So I'm in this house and there's this one video, one window facing the uh, entrance. I kind of opened up the shade a bit just so that I can like, if my uncle shows up, I could just go to that window and check and then I can like make preparations to get rid of the microphone, you know, before he shows up. So I'm just gonna return back to my, back to Travis's motel just so that I can save, because I need to save. Oh shit, I thought I was going... I thought that was the way to get to the... I know, I, I have a map. I'm looking at it, so... Here it is. When you see the big flag, that's where he lives. That flag is the... is the... town flag of Santa Destroy, so... It's kind of weird how it's <laughs> next to... near where he lives. Alright, so now we can go save. We'll go look at the, the cat one more time. Alright, toilet. Travis has to really take a shit, so now this is his relief. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Now we're 45. You know what? I'm probably gonna just stop it right here. I've, I've done a lot and stuff, so... Yeah, so I think... I think I've done all I can. Hold on. So I already saved. Let's see if I can... Can I go back to the main menu? Let's see. So... Right. Yeah, map, ranking, side job, config, data, exit. 
Oh shit. It's just exit from the Okay, fine. Data. New game, load data, exit, back to previous screen. Oh, okay. Config and configuration? No. Side job. Hmm. All right, so I'm, I'm guessing that, I don't know how you can like go back to the main menu or something, but I don't think there is a main menu in this game, so yeah. You know what? I'll just basically, how I'm gonna end this game is that I just go back to my place. I'm gonna save again, you know. I know I already saved, but I kind of just like doing that. You know, I'm very cautious and stuff, so. I feel satisfying to like save immediately then exit. That's kind of like what I do every time I play a game, so. Yeah, so then you do that, exit. And then like he goes back to his chair and then that's where I ended off. So yeah, I'm gonna end it off right here. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.